All right, YouTube, we got the uh, Chef's Choice 609 Meat Slicer. Uh, my first video that ever did any numbers like 9, 10 years ago was a video messing around with an editing program with this meat slicer. Uh, I haven't used it much in the last nine years, but uh, Walmart sent me this uh, three and a half pound hard salami. I ordered one pound sliced, and uh, this is what showed up. So, uh, good opportunity to break out the meat slicer and do another video on it. So we'll show you how uh, thick it cuts, how thin it cuts, and I'll link it. I'll link it too. I mean, this this particular one is discontinued, but they are still on Amazon. And once they run out, there's other ones that are similar that replaced it. All right, so we got our three and a half pound log of hard salami, and uh, we'll see. I'm gonna start out with a thick, a couple of thick slices here, and then we'll show you some thin slices. And I'm gonna slice it how I want to do it for uh, cheese and crackers here. So we got our adjustment knob uh, back here. This sets our thickness. So I'm going to set it uh, all the way to 20, which is as thick as you can. And I'll make it one cut with that because that's way too thick. And then we'll cut some, uh, cut some thinner ones with it. Zoom in here. And I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. And we'll go ahead and we'll cut one thick slice. If you hear that thump down on the tray, so that's that's a number 20 here. That's a uh, way too thick here. So I got to end up cutting that thinner here before I'm all done. I'm gonna go ahead and dial it back now to a 10. We'll show you what half of that thickness is, and then we'll cut some thin ones. So we got it dialed back to a 10 here, and uh, cut one of those. There's a 10 compared to a 20, about half as thick. I guess probably could have uh, guessed that. And uh, we'll go ahead and dial it back to, uh, let's go to like a 3. So this will be a number 3 on the dial here. All right, there's a th number 3. It's still a little bit thick. Okay, I'm going to go all the way to a zero now okay, and zero on the dial let me move the camera real quick here trying to get my camera and tripod all greasy here so zero zoom in got it set right here here's the line if you can't see it so we got it marked uh, right at zero there and we'll go ahead and we'll uh give one of those a uh, slice here see a zero so thin it doesn't even cut anything so let me go to a one so i guess a one's going to be as thin as we can possibly go here all right and that's uh really really thin it's probably about half of what you normally would get at a uh, like if you bought like a pack of hard salami all right so i'm I'm gonna go to a two, and I think two is gonna be probably about what I want for, uh, you know, just my cheese and crackers or whatever I'm gonna do with it. All right, so there's a the number uh, number two. So I'm gonna try one and a half. It still seems a little bit thick here, so I'm gonna go uh, one and a half on this next one. And one and a half uh, is about perfect here. So that's how I'm going to slice the rest of this up here, about one and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, cut the larger one thinner. There's our first one we did. All right, so there's a uh, one and a half. Yes, yeah, so that just kind of shows you here how thick you can slice it, uh, how thin you can slice it. And uh, what I think is about perfect here, like I said, about, about one and a half uh, looks about perfect. 
And uh, that's all I got on this video. Uh, you know, if you want to check this out, like I said, link's going to be in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, I'll put them in the comments. I just remember, though, if you're going to be mean, at least try to be funny. And uh, until next time, we'll talk to everybody later.